Hello, I hope you guys are doing well. Um, welcome. Thank you for coming through, stopping by to get this message. And again, I hope everyone is doing well and staying safe and making the best decision for themselves and the best decisions for others as well. Okay, so this reading is about values and your beliefs. So something about your values and beliefs are strong here. And pertaining to your values and beliefs, we're talking about your superstitions. And these superstitions, um, you may be superstitions of marriage, the marriage vow, uh, vows, um, or the religious vows, or any type of vows that you have um, with anything with your values and beliefs. It could be dealing with secret society to Christianity, if you know what I mean. Um, you could also be superstitious about uh, your community, like um, where where do you want to live, what type of people you want to be surrounded by, or you have your uh, superstitions on what type of neighborhoods you should live in or not, okay? Or even pertaining to uh, other countries as well. Um, I could also be talking to someone from another country. So someone else could be superstitious of candle magic, um, fire magic, um, scrying, something to do with writing. You may be a writer or I could be speaking to somebody, picking up on a writer or someone that likes to scribe, maybe into like sigils, um, crystal gazing, divination, um, hydromancy. Um, you may feel like hydromancy is an illusion to you or some of these superstitions, um, you group of people feel like it may be an illusion. Um, it's, it's hard for you to focus on that or you may have been taking a focus off of these superstitions for a reason. We, we'll see what this read comes into. Um, it's saying have patience. Um, for sure, somebody's having superstitions about their religious beliefs, um, whatever they sacrifice for um, their religious belief. Um, these, this uh, hard to focus area with these superstitions can be fragmented mentally into your mind um you could be talking about this with people but you're very witty you're strong you're strong mind determined you could you take constructive criticism well pertaining to your values and beliefs as well um you have a lot of gifts you have you i could be talking to one person to have all of these gifts um as far as hydromancy scrying Anything that I mentioned earlier, can't candle matter. You may have all these gifts. Um, you 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 could also be superstitious and worried about um, and having a little anxiety about sharing these gifts with people or even um, get into the divination because you may feel like there's energy vampires, like somebody could be trying to rob you from your gifts, or you could be superstitious about um, getting robbed from these gifts from whatever that makes sense to you and your and their, your discernment. You understand when you hear this. But I'm here to tell you that you are protected. You're protected by your angels. You have a team of angels that's connected with you and they're networking with you. Um, so you should stay focused and slow down, um, change your attitude and just clear your mind, you know? Um, keep your positive. Uh, you want, like far as the person that's superstitious about the uh, community they want to live in, uh, you want to be surrounded by positive energies, love, joy, and um uh, because you you want that you're gonna bring good fortune to you, great uh, good fortune is good good fortune awaits you. So it's something about a schedule here. Um, like I said, being patient, timing. Um, as I should have mentioned in the beginning, we could be dealing with life path numbers two, four, five, six, seven, and nine here are really strong. Okay. So back into the read, someone here is an astrologer or they, they destiny is, is into astrology, divination, uh, crystal gazing, scrying, hydromancy, water gazing. And this is your destiny. You have a lot to do. So Arch, I saw 444. So it's Archangel Michael is uh, one of the angels that is here for protection. I saw 444. So that's just confirmation that... Um, Archangel Michael is here protecting you um, with your gifts. So you don't have to worry about somebody's trying to uh, steal. But there's nothing wrong with you feeling cautious about it. Oh, someone, I forgot to mention, someone also could be superstitious of scuba diving. You know, um, or you just have a lot of deep thoughts, very subliminal. You may, this unfocused could be from feeling um, disconnected in your deep thoughts. But you have a desire to know and 
you do observe and go into self ex, 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 and, and examine yourself, you know? You go within. Sometimes you can feel like you're at a zero point or in a void. So someone here could be a scuba diver. Um, dealing, yeah, so this water could be what the hydromancy is. You make this person, I see uh, a beach sand. So you may go to, you may go swimming and you put your feet up in the sand and you're looking in the water and you've thought about this before. Um, these fragmented deep thoughts of yours come from a past life. Um, this deals with your past life as well. Um, you may have seen an octopus in, in the water for those. Um, yeah, an ocean came out and um, you, you're very wise. Um, like I said, you, you be jammed up in your thoughts sometimes. Um, also, you could be getting a promotion, someone in their job, something about their job or just anything. Yeah, scuba diver could be something you do for your job or something to do with jobs. Like I said, you're highly protected. Um, you could be moving around. You may have a table of crystals or something like that, where you or you do your uh, writing, scrying, or something on the table. You have a table in mind for this. Um, also, you uh, someone could be superstitious of cats, uh, a centipede, uh, a monkey. So uh, yeah, like I said, somebody could be travel to another country, or like something about a map, or maybe you have map divination. I don't know the name for it, but you're probably good at like looking at a map and you can figure out things. Also, someone here is into tea divination where you drink the tea, you, you read the tea leaves in a mug for tea leaves. And someone also um, has moon, something about looking at the moon at night or something with moon cycles, um, knowing the secrets of the hidden ancient knowledge, um, very intuitive. Something about moon magic here. So my question is, what superstition do you believe in? How do they affect the way you approach your life? So how is this affecting your life? Um, like I was saying earlier, stay positive. So the only advice I can give you is uh, use your gifts and be great, gracious. Be thankful for your gifts. Be colorful, meaning creative. Um, this is now in the springtime. Um, you could also be a very considered very beautiful and handsome as a man. Charming, upbeat, and creative. Like I said, um, you have a gift, a bouquet of gifts. Very positive energies with this. Um, you will see, seek, you seek pleasure and happiness, and it will blossom. Someone also could, also could be superstitious of cosmetic surgery, alternative, alternative medicines, healing, therapy, or anything to do with health. Um, it's time to forgive yourself and heal. 